for my juice, this juice that I'm, I want to share with you guys is, um, I, it's, it's a different combo I have never really tried before. So um, I don't think I've tried it before, but it's nice just to throw things together, you know, because it, it, I mean, once you found, have found a combo that you really like, you kind of stick with those same fruits, but then you just experiment with other fruits, you know, just to change it up every once in a while, and that's kind of what's happening right now. So what I have here is I have um, a half of a head of romaine lettuce, two small, car two, two small carrots that I have to use up. I have one large orange, one pink lady apple, and one Fuji apple, and then I have a lime, but I'm gonna put only like two or three wedges of lime in there because I am not a fan of consuming whole lemons and limes like a lot of raw foodies out there. I just, I can't even work my way up to that. I just, that is not, that's not for Miss Stace here. I like using just a couple wedges of the lemon or lime at a time. So I'm going to start with that. And I know limes is really good in um, juices every once in a while. And celery would be really good in this. But I've had so much celery lately that I'm like, I don't want no more celery. I don't want no more celery. I can just tell. So the celery is being left out. So it's ready here guys and this is a full one. This is a full one. Okay. Let's see if we can do this without spilling it. Watch closely people. Watch closely. Okay, tasty taste test. Here we go. Wow, that one is surprisingly good. The orange and that lime surprises the heck out of me. Oh my goodness, wow. Holy of holies, holy cow, oh my goodness. That's a combo to remember, wow. Oh, this is just so interesting. I think you guys would really enjoy this. I wanted to share this with you. My mom, at her work, she, uh, the old Fairbanks Daily News Miner, um, somebody brought it in or anything or something, and it was interesting because she came across the ads and the fruit and vegetable, fruit and veggie produce ads and the prices, and so she took a copy of it all so she could show me because she knows I love to see the vintage stuff from the past and everything. So she photocopied the actual newspaper, um, like this is the actual size. So this is 11 by 14, 11 by 14 sheet of paper, so it was 14 inches long. I don't know how or wide I don't know exactly how long it was but I mean the paper back then the newspapers back then were huge super huge which is really cool and I'm sure if there's a, in, any of you uh, uh, other people out there who kind of watch my channel a lot who um, were uh, lived life back then you know what I'm talking about you you, you know this you know this because you lived through it this is Fairbanks Alaska Wednesday February 17th, 1965. So you guys can see that right there. Yeah, right there. And it's just, okay, I always have to do a weather update here, okay? Because that's part of my channel, you guys. Up here in Alaska, cold climate, even fully wrong cold climates, extremely cold climates. But in 1965, on February 17th, in Fairbanks, Alaska, it's cold. It's cold. It's always cold. But back then, it was much, much, much colder than it kind of is today. So it says cold, 52 below. February 17th, continued cold with ice fog tonight and Thursday with below normal temperatures predicted for next several days. Low tonight, minus 52. High Thursday, minus 25. Low during the night, minus 49. High yesterday, minus 24. Temperature at 11 a.m. was minus 40. Sunrise Thursday, 7.40 a.m. and sunset at 4.32 p.m., giving a total of 8 hours and 52 minutes of sunshine. The minus 49 reading recorded after midnight today set a new record. Previous low for this date was set in 1937 with a minus 44 degrees. So, in 1965, on February 17th, it was 52 below here in Fairbanks, Alaska. And you know what? And like I mentioned before, the coldest I have felt in my lifetime since I've lived up here in Fairbanks, Alaska my whole life here so far 
um, is I have felt minus minus 60. I have felt minus 60. That is freaking cold. That is cold. That is that is like a, a an interesting cold, an interesting type of cold. I can't even describe it. Um, if you think just 20 below and 30 below is cold, holy moly, you got another thing coming for you. 50 and 60 below is super cold. But I know there's a lot of you guys out there who are in cold climates and you know what I'm talking about. And it's even worse when you add a wind chill onto it too. I understand. I completely understand there, people. But anyways, this is just another cool thing that I thought you guys would like because on that day, 1965, here's the frozen food, the frozen food section here in Fairbanks, Alaska. Look at them prices. Wouldn't that be awesome if we had prices like that today? I, I just, my mouth just dropped because this is the actual newspaper back in 1930, uh, 1965. And it says pineapple, four for a dollar? You gotta be kidding me. Four for a dollar, fruit mix, five for a dollar, peaches, four for 89 cents, Quaker oats, 59 cents, grapefruit, five pound bag, 89 cents. What? That is unheard of. That's unheard of because in today, those, if you buy them in bulk, it's roughly, well, uh, buy them in bulk like at the uh, Whole Foods store or Sam's Club or Costco, I know for me up here in Alaska, it's roughly $12, $13, maybe even $15 for a big pack. And they want 89 cents back then. Holy Toledo, you guys seeing that? Are you seeing that there, people? Man, that's cool. Golden bananas, four pounds for 38 cents. Oh my goodness, I have never seen prices like that before. I have never had prices like that before. That's pretty cool. I would love to have those prices, really. I just thought you guys would enjoy that. I thought it was pretty cool. And it just goes along with health and just interesting how things change. to get the driveway plowed so mom can make it up because her and Stacy are somewhere. Put a little down pressure on her. Alrighty guys, so I got them awesome as all the other raw foodies out there say. Epic. Zoodle dish here. This is one of my larger dishes and kind of when I have zoodles, I kind of need the larger bowl. I need the larger bowl. And so I have one humongous, I'm talking huge zook here. This is huge zucchini and um, spiralized one large one. I have crap, cracked black pepper in there, some chopped celery, and a little, little bit of dill on top. So I put that in there first. And then I made my uh, nice and uh, light and creamy hemp seed uh, dressing. And that's gonna go over on top here. So let's get that a pour in. This is what I love, especially with zoodles, because you can just, oh, it is so delicious. Mm. Oh, my mouth is watering, you guys. Come on, give me a moment here. Give me a moment. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
Oh yeah. Mm. 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 I just love the hydration. You know, I just really love the hydration because there's nothing feels nothing feels better than when your body is hydrated. Man, that's the wonderful thing about eating raw vegan people. I love the hydration feels amazing for the it's amazing for the body and it feels so good. So the spices I put in here, guys, like I said, I put some dill in there and then black, cracked black pepper. But in the dressing, I had some paprika and a little bit of uh, table blend seasoning blend, salt free, of course, Mrs. Dash right there. This is a really good one and it turned this dressing very tasty very tasty whenever you have zoodles it's always epic come on now it's always epic when you have zoodles It's the next day right now and I'm getting ready to prepare my bananas um, to chop them up and put them in my little containers and get them in the freezer because these ones are perfectly ripe and ready but I love to have my the standard yellow bananas frozen in smoothies and in ice creams and in shaky shakes so that's what I'm doing now so I just gotta probably end the vlog right now I have to I have to you guys okay so remember to love being raw put a big old smile on your face today I hope I did that for you and I'll see you next video okay bye guys <laughs>